Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, thanks for joining us on today's collectible car. Again, we're doing a lot of collectible cars today, and they're actually modern collectibles, which is crazy. When you think about it, like this is almost 2018 that we're doing this video. Uh, this is a 2001 Chrysler Prowler when Plymouth went away. That's why these become more valuable. So listen to these like, small details that make for cars later on much more significant. So these were all Plymouth Prowlers originally when they started building them. Then they converted over to Chrysler Prowlers because there was no longer the Plymouth brand. All right, so that makes it a little bit more rare. You throw in the fact that this is a Mulholland edition, 4,000 original miles on this car, and it is a spectacular collector car. Now, let's get past that part there and go, okay, cool, it's a great collectible car. It's really nice looking, I agree. Uh, but what about how does it drive, what happens? Cool, great question. So these are super, super light. Uh, they're in the mid 2,000 pound mark, all right? And so at first people gave them grief about putting an aluminum six cylinder in here with the transaxle uh, in the rear, all right? A lot of people don't know that the transaxle of these cars is actually in the rear here. These are all hand built on the same assembly line that the Vipers were built on. So you get this great 50-50 weight distribution. First off, this V6 uh, here, 253 horsepower, doesn't sound like a lot of power, but imagine a 5,000 pound car with 500 horsepower. That'd be a pretty fast car. So that's the exact same power to weight ratio that you're getting here when you talk about a 2,500 pound car with a 253 horsepower. This car sounds great. It's got some upgrades on it from the factory, some nice options, one of those being the chrome wheels. You could either get silver wheels or chrome wheels. The Mulholland Edition came in the special blue paint, Mulholland Blue, also came with the chrome wheels. This comes with the front bumpers, okay, with the turn signals built in. Those come with the car, all right? I shouldn't say that. I'm told they come with the car. We traded the car in just a minute ago. I wanted to get the video out there. They should be coming with the car if you want them. Most people don't even want them because the front end looks so much better like this. We just, uh, glued this on here just so you could see. I don't want you to think that we drilled the front bumper because we did not, but that is a great looking front end now. If we need to get a tag bracket, I say we get a custom one made that mounts underneath. We can also put it to the side or we can do one uh, somewhere in here depending on your state, all right? And we can, we can choose all that later. That's the fun stuff about getting one of these cars, all right? So um, you think about this, less than 3,000 of these are built that year. 3,000. Chrysler is selling millions of cars that year. Millions. Think about that number. Millions. They take a gamble on building these cars here. This is kind of the last of their run. And uh, the, the, the build quantity is so low. Uh, and I'm not sure of the exact number of Mulhollands. I guess I could have looked that up. It's not on here, but we'll get that for you as well. All right. Modern accoutrements. So this is a modern interpretation of a street rod. So imagine you had a cool old street ride, but it doesn't stop well, it doesn't drive well, it doesn't shift well, it doesn't have air conditioning, or it has air conditioning, it has old school air conditioning. This has so many modern conveniences. And then with the top up, it looks as cool with the top up as it does with the top down, because it has this tiny little top like this that comes around, it's big inside, but just the way the top is designed, it looks really sleek. All right, so come on up here and let's look at what hand painted looks like, all right? That's really nice. See how crisp and clear those letters are? That's what you want to be looking for. This right here uh, is an upgrade because that originally the, the turn signals would have been in here, so they get mounted in there, and now they uh, are a nice little addition. Without the bumpers, man, these things look great, but they were required to have bumpers, so we'll put the bumpers on there if you need them, all right? So let's check out the rest of the car in just a second. All right, so come on up here. This is really nice. There's some detailed stuff in here you need to see and I want to share that with you. Come and check out the front suspension, all right? This is actually IndyCar style front suspension with these long wishbones that would come across here. Shocks mounted inboard instead of being out there. The reason why they're out there is because the less weight you have out here, the better the car handles, the easier the wheel travels up and down and the lighter the suspension is, all right? This car handles really, really well and it's very fast too, which is surprising to a lot of people who first get one, all right? Throw in the 3.5 liter fuel injected motor in here, so fuel injection, all right, air conditioning, uh, four wheel disc brakes, four wheel independent suspension. It has a lot of modern supercar parts in it uh, in a hand built car. Even stuff like this right here where you can align the headlights, all right, the headlights are adjustable and they come with their own levels built in. 
so that you can do it. The headlights are awesome to look at as well. And if you want to, they sell some dress-up parts for inside here, maybe some billet caps and things like that if you want. But this car is all original. It's a 4,000 mile, unmolested, original style car, which I think is really cool. All right, so as we come up here, we have a stock exhaust. The stock exhaust sounds great. This is a built-in transmission cooler, all right? And if you can see, you have the cradle here, transmission here, half shafts there because it has an independent rear suspension. And because it has a short wheelbase, it allows it to really ride well. The drive shaft doesn't have to be so long. Uh, well, it can't be long anyway. And you're also able to get good suspension travel without uh, killing you inside the car. All right, so back here is a storage at the top, and the top is beautiful too because it is dark blue. All right. Stereo system built in, CD changer right here, okay. Heated rear window. Look how cool this top looks when it's on. I didn't latch it, but you can imagine how cool it looks. It's like a tiny little top on there. But it's fully functional. It's a three-layer top. It's made of that great kind of canvas. Um, that you'd use for sales and things like that. And then it's super easy to convert if you want to from, uh, what's nice too is you can take this kind of modern car on a trip and that folds down inside like so. And this goes on, here's the button to open it. It also has an emergency button in case the battery was dead. And that all seals in there with the third brake light right there. It's a super sexy car. All right, so come on in here. So a lot of people worry like, hey, uh, I'm a six foot plus guy. Uh, will I fit in that car? Well, this is good because I'm 6'1", and I have plenty, plenty of room in here. Not only that, plenty of room. I also have plenty of room with the top up as well. All right, so here we go. 150 mile an hour speedometer, full array of gauges, okay? This has auto stick as well, and the way that works is you put this into drive and you shift it this way. Plus gears, down gears, sideways to sideways, and they're snappy and they're really nice. This has the upgraded sound system in it too. We looked at where the uh, speaker systems are, all buried out throughout the car. This also has in the mirror built in uh, trip fuel economy, estimated time of arrival, all those kind of good things to have in there. Uh, we did talk about the air conditioning, power windows, power locks, keyless entry. It's cute tack right there in the front. The thing is awesome, 7,000 RPMs. It's just an awesome, awesome little interior. Uh, and I don't know if you were able to see this, but it has the Prowler right here embroidered into the, into the leather as well. All right, so as we close up this video, this is potentially one of those future collectibles. We're noticing that the values of these cars are starting to go up now, right? Just like uh, nobody ever said that, uh, uh, that Mustangs, Fox Body Mustangs would be worth anything. They're definitely starting to go up as well. So it's old as new, it's still cool. This car is amongst a lot of supermodels in here and looks great inside here. You can imagine this car going down the road. People love it, they go crazy over it because most people have never even seen one. When you talk about uh, a car that less than 1% of Chrysler's total build for the year, it's super, super rare. How many are left? How many have 4,000 miles on them? This may be the lowest mileage Mulholland car uh, in the world right now. Don't know that to be for sure, but uh, it could easily be uh, in that category. And you can take this to shows and what have you. The likelihood of seeing yourself again at another show is pretty slim. Anyway, call us 301 816 1000. We'll tell you all about this really spectacular specimen of the Crowler. All right, each stock these sound even great. So, la la. Three, two, one. Stock, these sound great. You can actually add an upgraded exhaust system if you're looking for a little bit more sound. So just check out what stock sounds like.